Oh my gosh, there is so much goodness coming for you. If you would love to find out how to harness the energies associated for this week, which is February the 12th to the 18th, then stay tuned. We are going to be going from the balsamic moon, which is the time of rest and reflection, and then we're going to amp it up a bit into the new moon partial solar eclipse in Aquarius. We're starting a brand new cycle. Remember, solar eclipses are so important and so powerful. It's like the energy of a new moon supercharge, and it's something that's gonna stay around for the next six months. So this is something that you would love to know more about. Stay tuned because I have some delicious goodness for you. love fam and welcome back to another episode if you're new here my name is Mel I teach you how to vibrate on the frequency of love with angel guidance what I would love for you to do is to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I release a video so are you ready to get into it na 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 I'm so excited this is gonna be an epic week all right, this is the Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue. So let's see what comes up. Okay, angels, what do my MK love fam need to know? Whoa, okay, that came out quite quick. First card is, listen to the sound deep within. This is a really beautiful card because this comes when your angels are trying to communicate with you, but you may not necessarily be listening to the guidance or maybe in the right frequency to pick up on the guidance in which they have for you. So it says, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to a gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. I think that's really beautiful. A way that you can get into this state to be able to hear your angel guidance is by doing your self-love practices. What do you love to do that makes you feel like the most amazing person in the whole wide world? Um, if you watch my Insta stories, I was jumping around, dancing like crazy. Actually, I'll show you a quick little clip here. I do that to raise my vibration so I can hear the angel guidance for you guys so I can channel channel it correctly and accurately and you know yeah so I love doing that I love singing as well because that also helps clear my throat chakra oh, yes, I'm a super woman. there's so many amazing things but your angels are saying this is the perfect time for you to listen to that guidance because they're trying to communicate something with you and if you're feeling a little bit frustrated sometimes the path in which we want things to unfold doesn't happen the way it kind of doesn't unfold like perfectly there can be some like bumps in the road um, and the card I actually pulled for myself this morning was literally illustrating that with like all these beautiful like strong trees around it but the branch in which this unicorn um, was sitting on was all like kind of all over the shop but it's like everything's working out you know out of the situation only good can come you just have to trust and believe so all right let's get some more clarity for the week this is such an exciting week oh my gosh finishing with like in the disseminating moon, no, what are we in? The balsamic moon, sorry, which is a time of rest. And now we're quickly approaching the new moon. So if you haven't already checked out my new moon general reading, it's 30 minutes of, actually, I think it's 35 minutes of detailed clarity, which I highly recommend that you check out because it will be like an addition as to what I'm telling you for this week as well. What else do we need to know, angels? What else do we need to... Oh, thank you. We got this card again. Do you know how many times this card has come up? Okay, so this is like love is in the air. Love is massive for this time, which marries perfectly with the, um, the new moon 
um, solar eclipse in Aquarius that we're about to embark on later in the week. Um, I'll read you this one. It says, marriage is a union of two souls joined in mutual love, respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to a well-funded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into faith and love, dearest one. That's really beautiful. So love is in the air. If you are coupled, love is going to take a... Um, a new turn this can mean actually I speak quite a lot about that in detail so I'm not going to go into that one in this reading because I do a pretty good job doing that in the full in the new moon reading but yeah love is on if you're single I wonder who's going to pop into your life or if you're not ready this could be deepening this love connection with yourself so just take from this reading what feels right for you because this is just general what else do we need to know, angels? One more card out of this deck. Oh, no, nothing. I don't feel a pull to that one. All right, this is the Archangel Raphael healing deck from Daring Virtue. So let's get clarity on listen and, ooh, wedding. I had two cards then. I'm in. I'm gonna take the top one. Okay, sobriety, that's interesting. Very interesting, okay. So this means like the need to abstain for something that is not raising your vibration, making you feel amazing. If you are in a relationship that is toxic, your angels are telling you to refrain from this because this is not serving your highest good. What, what literally just nailed your heart chakra when I pulled that card? If you are, if you need to be sober in time, in terms of like, um, like typical, like alcohol, drugs, um, I don't think you guys would be at that stage. Maybe some of you are drinking more than you feel. Maybe your angels are saying you some of you may be drinking a little bit too much. I don't know if any of you are in recreational drugs. I hope not, but I feel like the people that I'm attracting to watch these readings aren't necessarily at that stage. The prayer here, it says, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for adjusting my cravings in healthful directions so that I only desire life-affirming foods and beverages. I think the diet came up, uh, the diet card actually did come up in the in the full moon, in the new moon reading, because I remember speaking about veganism and I was like, oh, I don't want to say too much. Um, so maybe this one is saying that this is something that's also important. In, I would say like a, um, anything that's not helpful, anything that is toxic for your body, your mind and soul, maybe that's something that you need to pull back on. I know for um, my fiance and I, we were talking today saying that we need to um, stop eating like processed biscuits and bread because um, I can literally sit down and eat half a packet of biscuits in one go. But if we make our own homemade slice, I can have one slice and I'm like, oh, that's delicious and I'm full. Um, so maybe that's something that we need to work on in our relationship. Yeah. And plus, I've been watching a lot of old footage from my um, my channel like two years ago when I used to be raw nourishment. Um, and I was eating completely raw. I ate completely raw food for six months, which I, through my research, learned that that was the quickest way to heal and nourish my skin. I used to have really bad acne. And... I noticed results within like three days. Anyway, you can see all those videos in my transformation. I want to pull another card. Okay, I just picked up the whole deck and this is the one that came out. Give us your care. So if you are experiencing issues with this, like if you, um, this sobriety card, I feel like that could be where the resistance may be. Your angels are saying, okay, you need to give us your worries. You need to say, I am struggling with this. I need help and guidance. And I feel like that's where this listen card is going to come in. I feel like they've been trying to, but you haven't been in the right vibration to hear it. But now is the perfect time. So it says, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to release any fears to you. Please allow me to completely let go so, I can, so you can fully guide me in the situation. For those of you that are looking to find a partner, 
I actually read for quite a few people this week who were saying, was like, where is my partner? And it's like, okay, it doesn't really work like that. You need to raise your vibration, release your blockages, and have patience. Divine timing will take its effect. And if there's fear in your vibration, then you are literally stopping any manifestation from flourishing and blooming. So if you feel resistance in your vibration, pay attention to those feelings because those feelings are the perfect indicator to let you know how close you are to manifesting your dream life. If you're like in fear, you are literally at level 21 or 22 of the emotional guidance scale. That means you have a little bit of work to raise all the way up to number one, which is love, vibrating on the frequency of love. But your angels are saying, it's like, you just need to tell us what you're struggling with and we'll help you. All right. This is the numerology guidance deck from Michelle Buchanan. I just want to pull one card from this and one from Tarot and then I feel like that's it. This week is just about resting and preparing yourself for the new moon which I love, I love a new moon. I'm gonna pull this one. <gasps> Happy ending. Okay, so everything is gonna work out, which I think that's why we got this card here. It's like, tell us your fears, let us know where we can help you, and everything is going to work out. Everything is going to work out. Remember last um, video, I was saying, out of the situation, only good will come. This is basically your confirmation to let you know that yes, it's totally gonna happen. All right, let's get one card from our angel tarot from Doreen Virtue and then that'll be it. Because most of the, this reading will totally help you out with um, the detailed clarity I gave you for the new moon. It's like a 35 minute video. Oh, can you see that? One card to finish off the beautiful week for us angels. One card. One card, whoa, thing. oh, you got two. Oh, no, you got three. Oh, shit. Okay. So, the first one here, we've got the 10 of fire. Okay, so this is a really powerful one. Um, he's, this dragon is holding like a pot of gold with lots of arrows in it. Um, which indicates that there is too much going on. It says, accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. We've got a lot to do with health recently. So we've got the beautiful moon in the background. So he's still in the darkness. Fire is the passion. So this could be related to your career. Are you guys working too much and you just need to take a little bit of time out to just breathe? because your angels are saying that that could totally help you out and make you feel amazing. 10 of fire, it's like the passion is just building up and maybe some of you are so fixated on like, I'm creating this, 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 and this. I know a lot of my friends who are entrepreneurs are having a little bit of like overwhelm right now. And your angels are saying, it's like, you know, just you just need to breathe. How can you breathe? Start cleansing and detoxifying anything that no longer serves you. I think this sobriety card is massive definitely massive to help you, you know, work out where are the blockages? Why is this card coming up? Keep in mind that this is also a general reading. So it may actually not apply to every single one of you. Then the other card we got was missing an opportunity. I feel like the water is our emotions and I feel like you have missed this opportunity because you have so much going on. You're like, like for me this week, it was just crazy. I was like, okay, I've got to like, um, schedule my Instagram content. Oh my gosh, I've got to collab with this person. I have to like organize myself with this. Oh my God, I need to look for part-time employment so I'm not putting too much pressure on my business. Oh my God, I need to do this. And I'm like, ah. so I can totally relate to that. And as a result, I feel like, you know, too much is going on. You are missing this opportunity. Can you see like this massive um, chalice here? And there's more here and her head's down and she's like, da, 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 da. like I'm on a mission. It's like, just breathe. Just breathe, smell the roses. I feel like you guys need to meditate twice a day this week. And then the other card is, oh my God, it's the Ace of Earth. A promising business venture, important documents in, and contracts and inflow of abundance. This is a really beautiful, 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 beautiful card. So I feel like once you guys slow down and just chill the heck out, 
that's when the abundance is going to start to come because it's and then I heard that song free your mind and the rest will follow you know she isn't she has angel wings so we've got fire water and earth so we're getting a lot from like different aspects of our life that is kind of like all coming into play during this time So I feel like what you guys, you guys are like maybe starting this something new, like before, maybe before it was so chaotic for you and you're like, you know what, I'm going to focus on this and I'm going to nail the shit out of it because that's exactly what I want to do. That could be like um, exercising. It's like, I'm going to focus on exercising, exercising because this is going to make me feel good. It's going to raise my vibration. I'm going to be so much happier, which means I'm going to be more productive in my business. And I want to be eating more high vibrational foods because I'm not going to be putting crap in my body. Oh my God. What comes up for you? She's stunning. Like she's really beautiful. She's like in her power. She has like the castle behind her. Like this is, um, it's like she's in like she's just I don't know if she's like left the um the castle or she's I feel like she's had that behind her maybe that's like that solid foundation behind her and she's like well a castle is like a very um established building it's not like a little hut or anything so it's like yeah this is really beautiful I get only good vibes from this one Okay, let's move on to, let's just get one more. I know I said one, but now we've got three cards, but I just would like one more for you guys, okay? Just one more and then we'll finish it off. One last card, angels. For clarity on listen, wedding, sobriety, give us your cares, happy ending, ten of fire, four of water, and ace of earth. Just, you know, just a little bit of everything. But I feel like all of that, every, I feel like all these different aspects of your life are going to come come together now that you're in this new moon energy and we're in a new moon partial solar eclipse in Aquarius energy like this is powerful energy that is with us for the next six months which is pretty good card to have like the abundance card is coming so it'd be interesting to see like some of you may be getting like promotions in your work but the abundance could come through your relationships it just depends what feels right for you I'm getting like only good vibes. I feel like this one was kind of a bit like initially, but now it's like, okay, I know what I need to work on so I can get this abundance. But the Ace of Earth is like the beginning of this new, this new chapter for you, which is beautiful. Anyway, I'll stop talking. I'll just pull one more card. <laughs> one more card, angels. What? What's the final piece of the puzzle for my beautiful MK Love fan for the week of the 12th to the 8th? 18th of February. Well, thanks very much. I'm just going to pull that first one. Are you ready for it? Your wish comes true. Can you guys manifest something this week? The nine of water is beautiful. The nine is the okay, emotions. Let me just go back to the other water card. So this is, she's got her head down. You know, she's got too much going on. She's totally missing out on all these opportunities because you have then be like, okay, I'm going to fix these blockages and I'm going to, you know, um, you know, I feel like the sobriety card is coming in. I'm going to like release anything that's not serving me. I'm going to put myself on the right track. And then once I do that, my wish comes true. Her head is above the water. It's like she's she's able to see. It's like she's gone up, <gasps> taken a big deep breath, and she's like, oh, I'm free again. Like that's that's what I feel. Oh. I'm feeling here. So it's like in between the heart chakra and the throat. So maybe pay attention to your throat chakra, which is your communication center, saying what you feel like needs to be said. The heart chakra is obviously to do with love, but that could oh, Okay, concerns fade away, a love of life. Can you see all this delicious goodness around her? Look at all these chalices, like dripping with all these beautiful jewels. The, she's in the beautiful moonlight. She's got a beautiful waterfall behind her. It's bliss. It's pure bliss. I have nothing else to say, but holy crap. 
Okay. How do you guys feel? Comment below, let me know what came up for you. I will be responding to you from um, 7 till 8 a.m. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Holy crap. Your wish comes true. I cannot wait to hear what this is. By the end of this week, something's going to come up. Maybe it's like this clarity that you've been searching for. If you have been, um, you know, looking for a new job, maybe you find something that totally sparks joy to you and you're like, oh my God, maybe if you're an entrepreneur or someone wants to collab with you and you're like, yes, yes, this is totally working out for my highest good. If you're looking for love, this could be, um, you know, you may meet someone that's going to totally rock your socks or maybe you're able to fine tune exactly the partner in which you want and you finally feel it in your body for the first time. And then I heard that song, for the first time in forever. For the first time. What song is that? Was that of Moana? I can't remember what that song is from. Ah, I can't believe I don't know where that's from. Anyways, so yeah, getting all these good vibes, you need to just be very mindful. If you've got too much going on, slow the pace down. Meditate morning and evening. Do your self-love practices. Do as much self-love as you possibly can. And if you want further clarity for yourself and you want to book yourself a private reading, I would absolutely love to give you detailed clarity and guidance from your angels because holy crap, powerful time. And just know that um, if you haven't already checked out my new moon solar eclipse in Aquarius reading, I'll link that on the end card for you. Check it out because these two join together. But just know at the start of the week, it's about resting, reflecting, rejuvenating. Your intention is I reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. That rest is so important because, you know, we've got too much going on at once. And then as we get into the new moon energies, it's about I reset my intentions and feel the emotions associated. Like, I just I just feel so much love in my heart. I feel really like, um, like I could have another dance party again. Anyways, guys, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have anyone that could totally deal with some angel guidance and clarity, you know, just share the love. We're a bunch of high vibrational souls and I am so grateful to be able to call you my beautiful MK Love fan. So have an amazing week. Oh my gosh, I'll be responding to you. And um, yeah, I'll see you on Wednesday. I love you, goodbye.